Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss about this object spy feature of QTP tool. So as the name suggests spy, it means we are going to record the properties of the objects from the application into our repository. So to work on this thing, I would like to explain you the test object model of the QTP first. So let's understand how it works and what is the actual the test object model is. So uh, before proceeding for the explanation, I would like to do one exercise with you. So let's do an exercise. From this picture, learn everything that you can learn in the next 30 seconds and your time starts now. Your time is up. This is the second picture. Now identify the name of the countries written on each shape. I am sure most of you would have successfully identified the name of the countries in this new picture. This is because like I have shown you these two pictures separately. So when the first picture was shown to you, your brain tried to learn the various properties about this picture. Then properties like shapes, maybe size or color. So your brain tries to learn these properties on this first picture. And when the second picture is shown to you, this picture is without any marker and even the position of the objects on the screen had changed. See the circle is appearing here. In the first picture it is on the downside. So by comparing the properties that you learned earlier, these these were the properties that you learned earlier so by comparing these properties you are able to identify the name of the countries in this new picture similarly qtp also uses a human like technology for object identification for qtp let's take our uh, traveling site example so this is our traveling site so as we seen in that exercise qtp also behave like in the same way it learns the object's properties so let's say it is performing some operation on this object so it learns the properties of the object's properties like type what is the type of the object it types is web radio button and the name of the object let's say the name is flight only similarly other properties like the text of the object what are the text of the object so these are the properties it is going to learn on the basis of the object so uh, during the record time qtp tries to learn the properties of a gui object on which the operation is performed if you are working on this object it learn the properties of these objects similarly for the other properties so similarly qtp works in the same same manner as the human brain works so when you did recording it stores all the properties in object repositories and those properties are called as the stored properties okay when you run this recorded script actually your qtp compares this stored properties with the actual properties what are the actual properties here when qtp is running actually so whatever the object that is appearing on the application it learns the properties at runtime. So those properties are called the actual properties. So when you run this recorded script, QTP compares the stored object properties with actual properties of the objects available on a screen and uniquely identifies an object and that is independent of its location on the screen. The stored object and together its properties are called as a test object in QTP and during runtime the actual object available on the application under test are called the runtime object so these are referred as the runtime object so during runtime QTP compares the test object with its runtime object and whatever the object that uniquely identifies is 
treated as your main object. So this is the QTP test object model. Now let's see how the object spy works in the QTP tool. So go to the tool directly. So this is the tool for object spy. You have an option here, the icon, a man with a hat. It's like a spire. So click on this option. The object spy window gets open. To spy an object, you have to click on this hand icon. Click on the hand icon and go to your application and click on the object for which you want to check the properties. Let's say I'll, I'll select this from. Okay, click on the option. Now see, in the object spy window, you have the properties of that object with its hierarchy. So this is the main object that you actually spied. The web added object that is the from city. And these are its different different properties. Whatever the properties that are associated with object, these are the, the properties of this object. The properties like the class name, the class name of this object is web added. Similarly, its X and Y coordinates with respect to the screen and other properties like the HTML ID and the HTML tag, inner HTML, inner text. There are different properties that are associated with an object. And here, there are the hierarchy of that object with respect to the application. Like as we discussed in the earlier video, the main is the browser, then the page and this object appears within the page. So in the object spy, you will see the hierarchy of that object with its properties. Now in the object spy, there are two tabs. The first one is properties. So these are the properties of the object. And the second thing is operations. It means what are the different operations that are available that can use with that object. So these, the operations are applied on to the test object only. Why? Because once you capture the object and that is stored into the object repository, then only you can apply the operations here. Like this is the web added object and we can set the value here. The operations as we discussed in the earlier video. So here are the different methods basically that are available. See here the test set. So set the text inside the edit box. You will see the description of each and every method. So basically these are the different methods that are available for that object using which you can perform the operations on the objects. So this is a object spy window basically. In this section you will see the hierarchy of the object and the main object is always at the bottom node. The bottom node is always the object that you want to spy its properties. Here, the, all the properties of the objects gets listed with its value like the class name and the web edit, its pro value. So, these are the different properties that are associated with this object. And by this icon, clicking on this icon, you can spy the object. Okay, so go to the tool again. Here, you can see the properties of its parent object as well. Select of the page button, then you can see the class name gets changed to the page because its class name is page. Similarly, you can see the parent object of browser. See, the properties again gets changed. Here are the different properties. The properties varies on the different objects. Different object types have a different properties. So, here are the other options as well in the object spy. Now, you can add this object. If you want to add this object directly to the object repository, you can add this from here. Add object to the object repository. So the object gets added to your object repository and you can see it later on to your object repository by selecting this option. Similarly, you can spy this object onto the application as well. Say so if you want to highlight this object in the application, you can do it. Just select this option. See, it highlights the object. I'll show you it once again. Click on this option and see the black checkbox. Okay. So it will highlight this object. If you want to highlight the page, you can do that as well. Select the page option here and click on this. See, it will highlighting the page. So from the object spy, you can check the properties of the objects on the application as well as you can add that object into your object repository. This is all about the object spy in QTP. Finally, I have a question for you. What does the stored object together with its properties refer in a QTP? Runtime object, 
test object or object spy check against the correct answer thank you